Amnesia 4 collection announced for PS4, or was it? Is Garfield one of the new Pokemons in Pokemon Sun and Moon? Horizon Zero Dawn gives you another reason not to go swim? Battlefield 1 goes to the past, but is it enough to win the future? Rockstar explodes the internet once more? Did Nintendo switch on its money-making machine? All that happening right now in today's last week's gaming news. Roll the intro. In our first story today, PlayStation Blog announced that Amnesia Collection is coming to PS4 on November 22nd. The collection will include A Dark Descent, Machine for Pigs, and Justine, one of their lesser known games. Thomas Grip, the creative director from Frictional Game, said they've been working a while to try to get it on console, but were never able to do so. If you're not sure what Amnesia is, Amnesia is a very popular horror game and it also has been known to be one of the best horror games on the internet. Now if I can only remember if I ever played this game before. Game Freaks released a game demo for Pokemon Sun and Moon last week, and people started data mining the demo. The data mining didn't release a lot of the info about the Pokemons themselves, but unfortunately, they weren't able to hide away all the new Pokemons from the game. So yes, all the new Pokemons were leaked from the demo itself. Two Pokemon stand out the most, and these are Alola forms of two of previous uh, Pokemons. One of the Pokemons that the internet went crazy over was Digtrio. And for some reason, they added hair to him. Instead of being just a normal trash monster, he became a surfing trash monster. So, surfs up, I guess. The next one was Persian, the evolution of Meowth. Now, if you remember, he looked like this before. And for some reason, they decided to make him look like this. And yes, he does look like Garfield for some reason, and nobody knows why. So, best advice I can give you for Persian, probably don't play him on Mondays, because you probably won't feel like it. Guerrilla Games released a new trailer for Horizon Zero Dawn last week. So if you didn't know, Horizon takes place in the future where humanity almost is extinct, but the world is overrun by mechanical animals. One of the coolest looking animals that they showed in the trailer is called a Snapjaw, which is pretty much a crocodile, and by the looks of those things, I don't think I want to go swim anymore in that game. Battlefield 1 was finally released last week, and it received amazing scores on Metacritics, getting an average of 88%. Some of the key features is it probably has one of the best campaigns Battlefield ever had. The game looks astonishing, and that Call of Duty should probably get their ass back to Earth to see what the hell they did wrong. <laughs> Rockstar Game released two new pictures last week, depicting a small little tease of what their new game they were going to announce. Later in the week, they released a small teaser trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, the trailer definitely sets the tone of the game, and it gives you a small little snippet of one of the voice actors in the game. A lot of the speculations around the internet is it might be a prequel to the game, where it shows a bit of Marston's gang before the events of Red Dead Redemption. Now, this is definitely a game I can't wait to play, because Red Dead Redemption is one of those games that I've really enjoyed when it came out in 2010, if I remember. PlayStation also announced that they were going to partner up with Rockstar Game, bringing online exclusive when it comes out. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to place bet on this chicken and dog fight. Nintendo finally announced their new console last week. The NX is now finally known as the Nintendo Switch. Now looking at the trailer, we can see that it will be a console and handheld hybrid. It features two controllers that can be slid on the side of the tablet looking console. Also will probably be available a pro controller as shown in the trailer. Another cool feature from the NS is the two controllers on the side can actually be two different players playing one game at the same time. Now hopefully you guys are enjoying the small little trailer right here, but I actually had to blur it out because Nintendo will actually ID block this. But it's okay, it's in the Wii U's native resolution. Now onto our weird news of the week, modders in GTA Online replaced the explosive with a Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Now Samsung didn't like this, they actually took down the top video showing the mod on YouTube. Now YouTube reacted fast and blocked the takedown from happening. Really the only thing I can say is Samsung don't make an exploding phone next time. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this edition of last, last week's gaming news. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for all the praise from the last week's episode. It got a good amount of views for my channel size. Really appreciate it. All the comments you guys left on the video. I really appreciate that. Of course, leave a comment on the video. Of course, anything you think I could change or make a little bit better. I really appreciate that. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel like always. I would also appreciate that. And of course, follow me everywhere. Me, Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash Me, Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern. Thank you for watching this week's, last week's gaming news. I'm your host, Me Time Gamer, and I will see you in the next episode. Keep on keeping on.